the, the newest plants on the, in the, in the office. I've been up in the office for <laughs> a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Who hasn't? Look at those plants. I probably haven't looked at them in that's in that detail actually, but I haven't seen them. I haven't studied. I haven't studied. It helps with the explanation as well. Yeah. I felt like I need to stare at it a little bit. What, sorry? I probably need to, st when I, I looked at it, I thought I should probably look at this in a bit, you know, because like, there were some things that weren't totally clear. Yeah. So I haven't done that. So. Yes or no? Fair enough. The answer. I think this, the, the bit out here is, is, is being built, the bit that's the lounge. But obviously, this is, people will obviously recognise this as the office, the lower floor, whatever. Oh, okay, floor area. And, um, and you can see that it's better, it's better to put this down around and look at it because you can't really see if you sit over there. But there's pencil lines here with, with the old walls and the old fire rig for the old. Corridor wall, and the walls like where the loos are and stuff like that. And these stairs have been turned around because if they go there and they get turned around, they present all kinds of problems when you go into the green room and then the zone with the with the encasing of the of the fire um, corridor. So if you've got better go up the stairs, go out into the zone and the back in again, all within an enclosed space, which starts to just eat into that space. And you weren't really happy with that. So if you turn it around, then you can come in from the, from the parquet floor up and up another set on, into the mezzanine bit without all in a fireproofed area. Which also means that the mezzanine thing which we up here doesn't have to have a fire escape coming out over here and down and out there, so it simplifies all that. Um, so on this model, they are slightly too wide actually. Where, where you see the hatching, that means you've got to ignore that, they're a little bit thinner. Um, and you lose, when you come up these stairs into the zone, there'll be another door into the zone that you open into the zone and then you've been, if you, you go up by the stairs. Um, but next to the, you get like that sort of thing, as you're in there. But there'll be another door next to it there from the zone which lets you get to the stage, rear stage. Like that single door does at the moment there. Yeah, that makes sense. The double doors are there and they'd be like a single door. Instead of there, it'd be like there. The double doors, the sliding doors. Yeah, that, the double They're doors. Staying. No, that whole thing's going to be rebuilt. I mean, that whole thing with the sliding door, that whole wall is like a really badly built partition wall. That'll all be a proper wall, mm. proper soundproof wall, and the sliding door. It might be sliding door, might be just be double doors. Yeah. Don't know, but it'll be a proper fire and sound insulating. Because obviously, if, if, if it's busy up here, then you don't want noise spilling out onto them. Um, so what we sort of suggested to, so this is where we, this is the border with the staff room and the bar. It's, these are the beams marked here. It, was, it can't really be on that beam because then it means that fire, there's no way to get from the fire exit and out. You've got, what you've got to do is you've got to come out from here and get into the fire exit here. This would be like a door here. Daddy, so at the moment Daddy, the door is like there isn't it in the bar, the fire exit takes you from there all the way out. But if it's moved there, it just does the same thing. The fire takes you there. And apparently, the planning regulations are happy with. So if, even though if there was a counter there, they're happy with a flap at the end, like the current bar. They're happy with the fact you can come down, get through there, and get out that way. You can also Was go into this here because there's going to be a door there as well. So you can come in from the back door and then come into the, off the staff area through its own door. Yeah? I can't So would that be... Because um, there's a door there, so obviously there's a gap there. That door, the door, is that because the piece isn't big enough? Is that, yeah, yeah, the, this, this, this wall stay, this, the, this wall is more exposed, so it'd be more like that. Oh, yeah, because the stairs are going to stay there. Yeah. And that corner could be opened up a bit, so we're going to have loos up here. So this, there won't be a loo, there might still be a sink and sort of wash area along here. Hi, Mommy! Yeah, I just forgot about the stairs. Because they've been there. A bit like that, actually. That's quite handy having that thing. <laughs> like that. Um, but the idea of the moving wall is just coming 
from the basis that if you build, once you've built this corridor and this is all fixed, then you can't change it. And what we're trying to argue is that if we, if the corridor is built, it's a bit like that on that other piece, or it's not the right size, if, it, if it's built to there, it stops there. Okay, so it's almost like we're building that. Imagine the stairs go back in there. It's almost like we're building like the min most minimal thing we need to build. So we, there's, a, there's the stairway that goes away to the zone. And here is the fire exit from this whole lower floor. Okay, from you here and here. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> if you're actually in here, you're going to come back this door anyway. It's more like a view on this side. So, are we, no, are we keeping the width of the corridor still? Are we moving that one? Yeah, that corridor has got to stay there, but it could be slightly thinner. Yeah, because, as people know, as we go down it, the winching gear is, makes it much wider in the in the main part than it is at the bottom. It could be as thin as it is at the bottom. Right. It might be regulation 900 if it has to be. So what we're proposing, sort of suggesting anyway, is that we build this because if this is fixed here. I think that you could, it could be possible to have a wall that is either there or there. So this is the this is where you've got a big bar setting. This is where you've got a small bar setting. So they're waiting to hear whether because it doesn't really matter where it is anymore because remember all the fire regs have been done through that opening there and this opening here. So the current bar just goes to here. The current bar just goes to there. So That's it's right. big even in the water. Yeah. You are doubling it by putting it there. This is the second beam along. But you've got this, this, this eats into the room a bit. So when you start having bars that run along like this, you do things. <laughs> so the idea is that you build that like a blank thing so that then what I'm saying is every other piece of furniture could be a moving modular piece of furniture, everything. The wash area is here. This is where the sink is in the washing area. Obviously, we're not going to move that around, but everything else can be moved around. Where the DJs go, where the front of house is. Um, everything. This is like a furniture design issue, which is much easier to solve than these structural things. Actually, those seats are useful, actually. We have them back over here, the chairs. Oh, you <laughs> yeah. wanted to go over there? I think a lot of people, any of these are the tables and chairs. The tables and chairs start taking up floor space. So the stairs are fixed, right? The fire exit yeah, they're, they're okay. fixed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And these ones are fixed, they don't change position there, they're there. Right. Um, and this is the staff area that people like this relationship between this place and this place. So you could have one where you do this, you know. If it was in a small setting, you could have a thing with the bars that way. Sorry? It would just serve that way yeah. there behind the bar. The whole bar could just move down to there and then have their front of the house in the corner. So when, you, so when the bar moves, what about the stop? The bar just, all the fridges are mounted on a big wooden platform that's on the casters. It won't, it won't, it won't be any different from, uh, and they just plug in. Yeah, it just plugs in. That bar there could be on wheels. You won't notice the difference. But anything you put. Yeah, so you build, you build the, um, the fridges within. Hi, you, you just fit the fridges under in. Under the kitchen, and just so plant my fridges and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that could be built. It's just a wooden structure that could be on the fridges. And when it is moved, when it's fixed in place, you just won't even know that it can move. So it's not like these things are going to be always moved around all the time. We can find certain configurations. No, no, just be standing in front of it. I mean, mobile bars you them all the time anyway, and conferencing us. Industrial size oh, bars and kit that moves around. It's not like this. So the spirits and stuff will find a place on the oh, just bar rather than the Well, the spirits will be Please. slightly different, I suppose, because they're mounted on a wall and things. So, I'm going to do this. Oh, yeah, he's a sliding wall. Bring me up! When I go back to it, the point of it is it's more like a counter, I think it's more like a counter. You need, you need a counter with a fridge. That's what they've got to do, seven shares, yeah. it's everything. The spirits, well the spirits could be on the thing that moves as well. It just gets hung or something, you know, because... It could be just be, they, they could be clips and you just... Yeah. Yeah. It could be a shelf and you just put it on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, fix it, run all along that space. Yeah. So you can just keep moving. 
Yeah. 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 Think of it as chairs and tables. Yeah, when you start having a mix, it starts, you know, that's six people there, and that's another six people there. So you start having, you know, you know space up for a lot of decorations. And I thought the reason why, you know, you can only have two settings, because in a way you want the button to be flush with the beam. No, please don't drop me, please don't drop me. It goes with, so in the smaller <laughs> setting, it, Yay. Oh, we're driving. it doesn't seem like much oh. on this model, but we, it creates we, quite a bigger, it creates a lot more wall this. space. We might have events like during the summer where we like, have an exhibition on that doesn't take hardly any maintenance and one or two people coming in and running it and then you've just got a much bigger, you know, thing of wall space. Just, and I know, them, you know, that anything that's in there, it's, it can't be fronted up and stuff, you know, it's got to be, you've got to move it when you want to move it, but there could be, there could be seating or something there as well that we build. When the wall moves, it comes out into the bar, you know. So that big and small setting is between yeah. having more or less space in the staff bit. Yeah, the big bar, the small staff, and then small bar, <coughs> big staff area. And, I, I, and it'll be like, it's going to change, it's going to stay in one setting for years, <laughs> forever. I don't know, don't really know, till we... But the thing is that we can get to this stage, we build it and we get to the stage, then we can, we can all be in the space and look at it and go, actually, this isn't working, let's just make it fix, you know. Just, just try to as as possible. Because here is, people might know here that that's the opening from the bar that you go up the steps. You get up to the auditorium and that is now going to be a wall and everything that is now a wall in the bar is going to be an opening pretty much. It's so all that large pie, it's going to, all this area behind the is going to be an opening. So you've got to stand in the bar here and walk out on the same level out into that space there. <laughs> yeah, my where where so in this plan is bar stock? We can't, it won't be under the seats. It's, oh, it's, it's got to be cleared out. Down here in the, in the little storage space that's created in the loose. And a combination of that and in, in some of the moving furniture and stuff for this yeah. space for things. Um, I'm just a bitch. I'm just falling down. Whoa! And, sorry, under the, the big mezzanine here that goes along the, the side of the space. There's a lot of storage space in there. Uh, I'm just doing this. What is this? Look at my feet. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. the lift is going to be out here. She's coming from the car park. The lift's going to be. She's coming off the car park. Uh, on the shelf that goes in. So we're along here. Yeah. I don't think it's been. Oh, me, me. Oh, me, me. Okay, that's still. Me, me. Me, me. That's a big noise, right? The timetable is that we're going to get the planning back in a month from next week. So, um, and in the meantime, the architects are talking to the structural engineers, and the engineers. So they'll get a bit further, and then when we get the planning back, um, we had a positive letter from theatre something or other yesterday, um, supporting the, to the council supporting our application. So, 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 um, so we've still got, I can't remember the whole schedule, but we've still got months of the months to be worked out. Yeah. The wolf went down. I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious as to, as to I'm not, I'm not sure what, what's been done in terms of planning and stuff for the actual build, but I'm kind of curious for how long you know, moving the staircase and everything like that. Because yeah. it's, you know, obviously if it comes oh. two phases, it would be better. We don't even have a money to do it. I know, but I thought, I thought the actual money that we had at the moment would be the full planning of the bill. No. I thought, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, right. Mm, this is feasibility. Just the design, is it? Yes. Oh, right, okay, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, we haven't even, got to, we haven't even costed up these plans either. Yet, so all the plans are on the drawings. The next stage is we go through detail, look at those with costing, so the quantity survey. And, up. and then in tandem, kind of work quantity survey. 
introduce like a construction ah! box. So, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I don't want it to be shut. For, I mean, shut as little as possible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, might be able to make it modular thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Major works are down well, here and there. So. And apparently, everyone says they're going to shut for a really short time and shuts for way longer. Than so, so yeah. we're yeah. not too unrealistic yeah. about it. Yeah. So we. I just said that we'd, you know, that technically we should be, we could start building in October and okay, so we'll have a costing before then, but that means we'll start thinking about fundraising. Yeah, yeah, so got it. The actual building work is all going to take a whole different fundraising. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I can! Probably, you know, again, go to the Arts Council in one go, get it all from them. It's the easiest thing. Yeah. 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 as well after buying it, after them helping us buy it, and expecting to see us make modernisations like wheelchair and stuff. No. Oh. Do we, do we, uh, just... Mm. Ah, in terms of um, work in mind, I think that's the expression. In terms of work in mind, yeah. so the amount of hours that all the volunteers have done in the last year and the year before that and the year before that, are we actually, are we actually tracking that as at all, so, I mean, you know, I was talking to someone, I'd come across this before, but that, that's actually like, could be done almost as a kind of, as, you know, I mean, it, 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 it's money we put into it effectively, isn't it? Anyway, let's not talk about that, because that's all funding stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. a little bit. But that's, yeah, yeah. We do, you know, we do use it for other things sometimes, project funding and stuff. And it's a good leverage device for, I think in the context of this, I think it's... Is there, any, is there anywhere we could... Uh, modular walls yeah. and stuff that we need to get an idea about how they move um, back. So I do. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. Let's go and have a look at it. Yeah. Not really. I mean, yeah. obviously oh. heavy construction. That's a big and, heavy up. And the one that this, uh, this wall would just locate in runners on the sides because it's between two walls anyway. Yeah. yeah. So it'll, it'll, it'll be big undo bolts and kind of move it down then you just bolt them in again. Okay. So where did you get the idea from the theatre, <laughs> not architecture? The idea of... <laughs> the movable wall. Um, well, movable furniture is just, you know, like that bar with castles on it anyway. Yeah, but no... The wall, because basically for me, I, I'm, I'm torn between those two positions for that wall. I like having the big, and I understand the big staff setting. Um, but to me, you still, you still don't make the bar big enough for me. To make that, I always want this floor to be a much bigger floor. So something can happen right down there. You might have things where you might have something on stage, a small stage in front of there. Yeah, this really is, is coming out. This coming at this way as well. So it's going to be like it's basically it's a really big, it's a big L shape. Just standing here, you, something's going to be right over here by this shelf. Mm. And we can even put things could even play on that. You know what it's like here, people just play everywhere. You know, people just find somewhere and use it. I've got a hand cross. Oh, I think that's, oh, it's oh. happens naturally. Yeah, you know, that's quite a bit easier. If we have a better space of, you know, down there, then that's a social oh, space for the oh, staff anyway, isn't it? Yeah. And there would be the oh, mezzanine, surely, yeah. oh. so I don't, I don't see. Oh, that's you're good. It's just problems. Good. I, mean, so I keep being a flexible. I like the movable idea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I might not get permission for it. Okay. Uh oh, but the biggest yeah, way. Yeah, it'd be possible to make it. Yeah, it'd be possible to separate it, like it already does. So you know, it can already move around so it's fixed to that place. The ultimate ticket is fixed. To that. But um, that can so. But that can be movable as well, can't it? Yeah. 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 That's the only thing that you need to make a couple of the shows. Quack! Yeah. The front of house shouldn't be isolated out from corridor or anything like that. No, but sometimes the front of house does do that. The front of house wants to position itself outside somewhere and it can do that anyway. As long as it's level and you can just move it easily around. Yeah. It's kind of not pinning, it's just the idea of not pinning us down to one thing that we can't deal with. The big thing when it changes, but it'd be quite good fun when, when you decide to put it into a different layer. Oh. I'm going to see if I can dig out images of the ones that I've seen, the ones that were talking about. Uh, I know they sound good. They sound good. They would take me to space. Yeah, something. This wall actually is quite a lot. Of this wall is actually knocked down. 
And there's this little space here as well with the disabled blue there and the storage space there. I'm not sure we, they've just created that space because they can really. And then you can still go out, you still go out and then down into the room. Now, how big is that space? It's, it's yeah. hard to say, it's quite big. Because it's almost as big as a bar is now. Not really, but it's, 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 it's kind of a weird, well it's the wall that goes out, it's the hole of the gents almost. I'm not mm. sure where that wall goes, but it's on the plan. On the plan. <laughs> And you go can you go straight from the bathroom to the disabled toilet then? Yeah, you'll be able to go through this wall into this other space and then the door's there because that's the only way they could get it raised on the same level as this. So you go out there and then this is quite other little space and then the door's there into the disabled and there's the door there into the storage. Hello, I got a dress on, I'm a goalie, 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 oh! We're trying to add all these bits onto this, we'll cut into this and add them all along. No! Oh no! <laughs> there's a unisex toilet. Yay! Yeah. That's staying there. No, I got. Oh, oh. I think there are going to be urinals in that plan. I think there's urinals <laughs> and then there's so shared, rest shared sinks and things. Like you, that's quite a plan. Oh, I got it. Good if people look at other bars and things they like and get ideas for how to fit it out and decor it and all that sort of thing. <coughs> what do you think would be the basic kind of default setup? Still Well, I think we'll probably, I imagine we'd probably end up doing something similar to we already have sort of thing. In a way, I imagine something like that. Almost something like that. So the front of the house can be there. So the seat's there. I mean, you know, because that wall, looks, you could even have seats in front of that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Presumably, because of the stairs, there's no option to another, another setting to make even, even smaller again. Two back up. You need to get them. Because, and then that going there. Yeah. You know, when you've got like quite a Yay! like film night, and yeah. can people come in and there's this huge. Yeah. Space and there's only six people in it, it might feel I know. different. I know what you mean, but the thing about this, you know, I've just been to like Cinema Nova in Brussels and they've got like a massive bar yeah. under their cinema. It's huge. And, it's like even when it's, it's empty, it's, it's, you don't really feel like you're in a cavernous space because you know we've got big souls, haven't we? Here, you know, yeah. you can fill the space up with just one or two people. I think if it's so my message would be like, don't be this thing about don't uh, let the thing, idea of a big empty space be this kind of thing that something that feels like it's empty. Sorry, never, yeah, it's never going to be. Because get chair, table, chairs. Oh man! Well, one night you may have eight people, but the next you might have sixty and. Six yeah. people in our tiny bar. Let's put them back on. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not really that big. Sorry? Oh my god, no, no, no. Well, we can't. Oh, yeah, I mean, the, it will change. Next time you'll yeah. go. Next time you'll 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 go. Next time you we had people in the auditorium, 108 people waiting. We had that twice on Sunday. Yeah, I need to ask you about that, Kate. Yeah, because I think we're, we're only licensed for a few people. Someone's just driving up. So definitely change. But I can still get out of it yeah. while that's... But to, answer, but to answer, I mean, I don't see why you can't have it already where it already is. I don't really understand why that's the fire exit for the bar. And that is the fire exit for... Um, you know, coming down and out there, it's a five exit for there. So I don't really understand why that's, you have to have this route out and stuff. So you could have a smaller one. Well, was the whole thing of visit a kitchenette or not? You can't have a fire escape yeah. into a kitchenette, but it may yeah. or may not be a kitchenette, yeah. depending on whether a kettle or a kettle is there. Yeah. Yeah. So they're, they're still working on that. Yeah, okay. Sorry? There will be one there, one there, one here, one there. So it will be, in fact, three at least exits. Yeah. 
but the mezzanine yeah, we're not the taking away any exits. Yeah, exactly. yeah, I do. We're not taking away any fire exits, and we never. We could have a higher capacity here with the fire exits we've got. We just never want. You know, we used that years ago. Two hundred fifty or something. They add up the, the fire exit width, and then they just set up people. Some like two hundred, three hundred people. Yeah. You're in prison, yeah. Yeah. We create more space for people. Then yeah, definitely. I'm in prison. I'm in prison, and I can't get out. Yeah. I'm in prison. 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 Do we know how we're going to make it? It's been a big heavy, heavy car, it's just like you get on light cases and things. Is there any fire regs or anything like that? Well, that's what we're sort of finding out about. They have to have some kind of curtain which is on the floor, you lower, up, lower them up and down. I mean, it might be, it might be practical, you know. I mean, the moving furniture is quite easy. Yeah, it all might be. Sort of, it's just a shot in the dark. Need it to be manageable, like by just one or two people to be able to move. Yeah. The other option is for sort of the people to get for conferences. But yeah. then the option is for the people to get for conferences. Yeah. Sound proofing issues. They have to be, you know, thick full of something. Well, a certain dip full of something because you need to have sound proofing between the two. I'd imagine it's something that you can't topple over. So you can unlock it and then one person you just. Ah ha ha! Just make the room a bit bigger. Maybe you press a button and it moves by itself. Well, this is something that the architects can help us with. They must have worked. The architects must have worked with Yeah, I mean, exactly. They're all out for all the sort of technology things. I think we should go and have a look. Yeah. yeah, I've seen it. I've been up there, yeah. Uh, Where's that? Uh, school, I stepped 13. in dog food. I stepped 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 in dog food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think it's their trademark, he's sort of almost like boarding their trademark. Yeah. Truncating. Yeah. Can we just have that whole thing without a wall and it's not going to fall down? That's what the structure engineers are going to come back with. I mean, those, that, that wall there currently holds a concrete pad up. And that wall there holds, does the job of what the, one of the beams used to do on the stage, so that does hold up the stage. But we've got to change all of the... This whole stage has got to be changed. We need to, so the whole of this auditorium stage has got to be taken apart bit by bit. We've got to label each piece of wood. Well, it's going to be changed anyway. <laughs> it's got to be set yeah. For what for reason? The because ah! the stage timbers are not up to regulations, mm. theatre regulations. And because we're doing all these changes, you have to start. You have to, if you're just, if you're, you're leaving like things, if you've inherited a historic bird like here and you're leaving it, then that's okay. But once you start changing things, then everything has to come up to legs. So we haven't got an answer yet about. Obviously, these are wooden beams going across that are, that are visible in the office. We haven't got an, an answer yet about how, well, how much difference the steel would be. How much? It's not going to be lower. It's going to be shorter, if anything. Yeah. And, what's it, what, and these are the beams in the office, you can see, but the, the beams that go that way on the stage are only something like 108 mil or something, they're like, they're tiny. They're not, they're not, even, the same, they're not even the size that they should be in your house to have joists, So how it stays up, quite nice. I've got the kitchen! So, so the benefit of updating to steel is that even if these are steel, I'm doing case, yoga! You don't really hate your case of steel, you're not allowed to have a case of steel. Like people are trying to always do it. I am doing yoga! I am doing yoga! Everything's just it's like it's yoga. steel, everything's just visible. I'm doing yoga! Like they just like, how they get away with that? Perhaps I'm doing yoga! I'm doing yoga! I'm doing yoga! Hang on, okay, we'll go in a minute. But I'm so doing the yoga! Steel, so this strength, this could be no, strengthened that I don't one, want to go. massively. And also, I'm doing yoga! Yeah, the, the density material can go in as well.
So it, it will change the feeling of the stage. You know, like whenever yeah, you jump down at the moment, the centre is kind of rocking around. <laughs> that will go. And it'll be a much deader acoustic oh. stand on, so a lot more sound will come back into the room. So it'll be like jumping up and down, in a bit like a zone. That is going to be a thing and a half. So there will be a point where you'll be in the office and you'll be able to look up the hole, to the, you know, all the way up. I'll take, take the screen apart. I'll take all that, basically, to the apart in a way. Oh, I did the wrong balance! Put them all aside, maybe. Oh, fresh on me! Any volunteers for that? Yeah! Yeah, I mean, things like that. I think no, it we should as much of that stuff as we can. No, it's it's yeah. And then we're going to. Oh, he's jumping yeah, off a bit. But in terms of any knocking down. And I'm in super dark prison. Yeah, just, yeah, just I'm in it. There's no point us running. Yeah, I'm going to be dead. I'm really strong. Whoa! So yeah, all this, that's the structure of here, yes. giving us all that information about them. But yeah, you could replace both those with a clear span of steel. Wow. And that all there, the steel. Yeah. And this one. Let all of you free. Jump up. Thank you, Jim. That's right, hang on. I think that's fun we can do. One of us. Feminine skills. Trapdoors. I got yoga. I got yoga. Sorry? Yeah, Trapdoors could be interesting how we maintain those. I know I personally say we get to maintain the trapdoors on the stage. I got yoga. 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 I yeah. Yeah, it'd be great. Have you seen those things that they do like big show, big stage shows? Yeah, those impression platforms. Just have dance pop out of the stage. Yeah, but it's just yeah. You get these, you get these more dramatic ones and you stand on it and it just goes. Yeah, you've got to use the chat doors. Another reason why that, where the, because I think the, there's, there's that the chat door there, it's just in front of that beam. And that door is just it's in front of that beam. Another reason to have a bigger setting, you might have a thing where you want a big setting with trapdoors. Yeah. Like it's like you're giving a stroke. In one setting, it's in the bar, and one setting, it's in the office. Yeah. One of them is always in the office. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we could do that. Complete transparency. I just, I don't know if I've been to Copenhagen, but I've been to the Round Tower in Copenhagen. Taco Bray's astronomy tower. You go up this big spiral thing that's actually meant for horses, and as you get near the top, there's a little hole in the wall. You go into it, and there's a sheet of glass on the floor. With a sort of like, you know, 25 metre drop. And you, you just can't stand in the middle of this. You can't go out and stand in this dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The one in Portsmouth where you go to the tower and stand on the glass floor. They're sort of zero for you. You did a sort of measure. I've got you now, Lucky. I'm going to go now, bad guy. Just glass my cut through. Every, here and there, it's great. You know, you can just see what people are doing. Look, yeah! Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, we're going minimalist. Break it. You're minimalist. I have a couple of them. No. I think this this like double <laughs> width is going to be the, quite a big change. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's worth it at the moment standing behind the bar now, <laughs> you're serving and looking across and imagining that you'll just, you'll just see straight out. And moving between one space that's really low and into this other big high space is going to be really mad. This guy's going to be another one. No, it's gonna be. This is gonna be one floor. It's gonna be made. This, this, the garden 
itself is raised oh. up quite high actually. We raised it up to create a flower bed. Oh. And um, I'm throwing like you in the river! The garden is that high. That's going to go down. Yeah. So that, that is going to go down. <laughs> yeah, that's all going to go down to the same height as the park in the That's That allows you only two steps higher than the bar. It's really interesting because you go up the stairs and then you go down a little bit. And it's so you're still going to the auditorium here, there were stairs to get up into yeah. the auditorium there. Yeah, yeah. The stairs are going to kind of come up the side. And again, it's another thing that we need to really need to model. But it's a bit like imagine that imagine that deck. Imagine that deck that Richard's point. Imagine that actually going now. Won't be as deep as that. Imagine it going around the wall. That goes along the wall there and then along to the wow. steps in the middle of the roof. And just where, where, the, where the wheelie bins are, there'll be a lift there because this is all going to be inside. Um, and then sort of behind horns. Right? These walls are going to go beyond the window. Yeah, this wall here. With, it's going to come out to just where that port where you are, where that wall is you're leaning against. We want it to go flush with the zone, but they do things like they have terms of these things. Where if you just have a flush with the zone up there, what they do is they just move it in 100 mil, and it makes it, it seem like it's less voluminous. So we were saying, no, it's got to be in line. They're saying, well, if you just do that, then it makes it seem like it's a smaller space, and it helps it get the planning and stuff. In it. Same with the roof. The roof isn't going up as high as the zone. It's going to be the height of the window. The, bottom, the top of the window, and that will fly over. Yeah. So from from an aesthetic perspective outside, we're going to still keep the kind of like I don't know, kind of naturally evolved look. That, uh, it's, we're not going to we're going to paint the whole thing yeah. white and make it look all flashy and brand new. Or I think the idea is that we we do as much of the kind of second fix work ourselves as we can. Yeah. So we're going to run work, do workshops in because we can sort of charcoalise the wood. So you get like strips of oak pan and then you just burn them. I mean, we, can all, we can all do that and sort of fix them up and stuff. So we're handing all those last. If we ever handed all those last fixings, then it'll it'll be a little bit. I'm not, I'm not like a comment on anyone's work machine. But, <laughs> <laughs> but are the outside you know, surfaces but... going to be coherent, or are we going to leave some of the brickwork as it is, or is the idea to clad the whole thing in one one material? Yeah, I think this brickwork all stays. This roof could be raised up. So this probably it raise up at least as, to, as the top of the slope there, be more like one wall there. So there's a big, big window across it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a, <laughs> we're really aware of that point about keeping that, that sense about it. You know. and there's going to be big changes that we can't, you know, control to a certain extent, like the big steels and stuff. But once you've got tables and chairs in and we occupy and we put posters up on the wall, people stick stickers everywhere. Yeah. And I don't think it's ever going to feel like the Arnold Feeling. <laughs> So this is the thing that they are, I like. <laughs> <laughs> a boat. <laughs> yeah, I think where we can do work and stuff, we'll, we'll, we'll be doing it. And even if it's like, you know, mixing cement and laying bricks and stuff like that. It's, it's cutting wood up. And... So when are we hearing back? Did you say open the month's time? I think June 20th, something around that. And how do you plan a meeting? And are we seeing the architects before then? Or? They're doing, like, they're meeting with the contractors and then checking in with us every now and then. So they sent the damp survey around last week and yeah. he decided we had rising damp in the corridor, which we know. <laughs> um, uh, and in the toilet block, which we're not going down. So, um, and then they, they've been meeting, they're meeting with the structural engineers at their office and then just sort of getting back to us when there's either some progress or they need access. Um, so they're sort of carrying on low key, and then after the after we get the planning back, it will ramp up a bit more because they can send some actual plans. But I guess we'll have to make some decisions around the time it goes to quantity survey, um, you know, on how expensive we want it to be because none of it's really been based on cost so far. Yeah. And it could be yeah. hellacious. Are we going to go in funding big way, in a big way, or a smaller, or... So I was chatting to someone the other weekend, and he used to do work on the 
fundraising sort of boards and he was often the same, the larger applications yeah. were easier to accept than the smaller ones. We yeah. have that at the Trinity, I think a lot of, they just like giving big chunks. Yeah. They like giving, if they can find a worthwhile one. project, they can just do it and it's really easy for them. You do a bit of in kind and, I mean, you know, like the idea of like hustling for half a million pounds here and there just sounds like no fun and just writing one big application to the Arts Council for 450,000 and, mm. you know, raising another 50,000 to show that we're doing something is much more realistic because also otherwise coordinating it you know yeah, like trying yeah. to time everything to come in at the same time yeah. but i also meant as an overall total build cost like are we going to try and keep it as uh, modest as possible or are we going to go like all whistles or bells i think this could be defined more by what we what we what what we want to keep you know what, we, what we're attached to in the build so things like the kind of rig the gantry thing which goes over the, this space Things like that might just seem, you know, some things are going to seem too expensive. We have to kind of, we might have to sacrifice it and do it later. I think um, once we've got the costings of the yeah. cement and you know the, the basic stuff, we'll have a better rate. We've got no idea at the moment. Um, but the way the funding works is they know how much they can give you, so they kind of know what their budget is. So you either work within that budget or find, or think of another way to raise funds. Well, so they give us a nod. Like, yeah, yeah. Last yeah. when we raised the money for the um, buying it from the Arts Council, they actually told us exactly how much to apply for. They said, "Go for this fund, which is up to hundred thousand. Go for ninety thousand, not a hundred. And um, that was grants for the arts, which is normally prioritised to individual artists. So it was counterintuitive." And but it, we were advised, you know, it was good advice, so we got it that way. And I'll just do the 